What's up y'all, Buddha Jesus here. And I'm back at the Iao Valley. I came here about a month ago now. And I didn't go on the hike I wanted to because everyone wanted to go to the river. And I just didn't want to go. But I did anyway. So this time I'm going on my own. You know me. <laughs> I just do things sometimes. So, off the beaten path, up into a mountain. Let's do this. Yeah. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Check it out, yo. That right there is strawberry guava. Local variety of wild fruit that I just happened to find on my hike here. Oh, it's so delicious. I'm telling you, man, it's good stuff. That is where it's at right there, man. Harvest from nature's bounty. I'm gonna enjoy these, baby. Yeah. So, look at this. Just available. Walking through the forest, there is food. There is food. I didn't have to pay any money. I didn't have to work other than reaching out my hand and grabbing it. I didn't have to stand in line. I didn't have to do anything except see it, grab it, and eat it. And you know what? This makes me realize something. This is a marvelous thing to me right now because I'm used to a world in which food is scarce. We produce such abundance of food on this planet, but we lock it away and you can't get it. Unless you work hard, baby, you gotta work for that food. You gotta get some money. We just make this this false society, this false system, where where so many things are scarce that don't need to be. What if our cities, our towns, everything, everywhere we lived was infused with edible tree crops, vegetables? You could just pick things. It's hard to sell lemons at the market if you got lemon trees on every corner. See what I'm saying? This is a barrier. This is one we should overcome. Should. I hate that word. But honestly, it would help so much if we overcame that barrier. 